Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. Today I want to show you the organization, the chaos behind my overhead panel. As a place for the uh, connection, I have chosen the back side of the overhead frame here and I will install a plywood board here, here on the back and I will screw it in place. I think it won't be in the way um, because every panel segment of the overhead panel can be removed to the front and so it won't be in the way if I want to do any maintenance work. I'm planning here to connect all the backlighting uh, connections for all these panel segments and all the connections for these um, D sub connectors here that lead to all the different Arduino megas. So I have cut this board a little bit bigger so um, that I can place all the Arduinos too. The Arduinos are screwed onto a 3D printed holder that can be found on Thingiverse. Because I want to keep the different panel segments modular, I didn't want to solder the cables of the backlighting at a central point. And so I have bought these plugs here. They come with a male and a female version and the end of the cables can be soldered on the one side to the cable that comes out of the panel segment and on the other side to the central power supplying point. And then I can just plug them together and the backlighting is connected. Now I want to give you an overview of the whole setup I have made here. Down here we have all the Arduino Megas. And here is the Arduino Leonardo. I have a USB hub to connect all the Arduinos to it here. And here I have all my power connections. This solution will be temporarily. Later I plan to make a PCB where I can uh, route and design all the connections a little bit better than here just with soldering them together. When I want to connect a panel segment of the overhead and then I have the plug here that comes from the panel and it uh, can be connected with any of these um, backlighting plugs here. It doesn't matter which of these I use here, they are all connected to 12 volt and uh, so it doesn't matter which uh, I take. Then there is the D sub connector, one or more for every panel section and it has to be connected to the corresponding D sub plug of the Arduino. So let's uh, assume we have connected these two here. Then there are some panel sections that will need additional 5 volt. Here I have my main 5 volt inlet and here the outlet. I didn't want to solder the power connections here because the goal is always keep it modular. If I would solder this 5 volt connection here to the board, then this section, the breakout board on the Arduino Mega wouldn't be modular anymore and I wouldn't be able to take it out for any maintenance. So just now for the moment 
I will connect all these five volts here in this clamp and later I will install here on the PCB some uh, terminal blocks to screw these in there. So this will be the five volt power and here will also be the ground because when I use the five volt from my power supply then I will also have to use the ground connection and there they here they will be connected to. Well, not exactly what I was thinking about. Okay, I think many of the overhead panels of uh, the cockpit builders are looking something like this in the back. I thought it could look a little bit cleaner. There are some uh, ways um, how I can achieve this. But let's talk about everything here in detail. Some pros here of this setup. The first thing that uh, I saw, uh, especially when I had to uh, resolder the um, backlighting and the connectors of the backlighting here to the uh, panels, that I could very easy remove every panel section out of the overhead frame and install the connector. With an overhead where everything uh, would be here uh, wired to uh, one complete setup, I would have to come here with the soldering station and would have to solder in here in this overhead and I think especially the lack of a, the third hand clamp tool, what I always use when I'm soldering, uh, could be very difficult here. So a very big pro here that I can remove every section separately. Another thing is that there are clear connections. It wasn't a problem to connect all these parts together. It took a while, yes, but it wasn't difficult. Um, especially here you can see, maybe you can see this, the two F3 um, plugs here F3 and F3 belong together and so it goes um, the whole overhead here. All these um, backlighting uh, plugs belong together. I don't have to care which I connect to which because they are all the same. Very easy. And the last thing uh, what I already said it was a little bit difficult to connect the uh, 5 volt and common ground uh, connections here um, but there I will install a better solution later when I make a PCB here. Okay, let's come uh, to some cons here of this setup. I have started with the Arduino letter A and I started with the what I thought could be the easiest panel sections here. So now Arduino A is mounted here. So you can see it has to take nearly in the maximum of way what it can take. It would be better when Arduino number A would uh, have been installed here. Then I made my construction way through the overhead panel from here down here and often choosing a little bit easier panels, not exactly at the uh, numbering here, how they come here in the overhead. And so I jump a little bit first here, then there, then here. And this makes it difficult to uh, route the cables in uh, special areas. For example, these three panels 
could connect to uh, this Arduino, then these three maybe to this one. So I have one here to this, one there to this, there to this, and this makes it very difficult to find clean lines here with these connectors. When I now know which connections I need, which switches I connect, then I could make a new setup and define new pins for all these switches and lights so that the ways would be shorter and they would concentrate here in special areas. Okay, when I construct overhead version 2, maybe. One good point is that I also could test the backlighting of the lights panel and this came up really cool. There is nothing I can say against it. I wouldn't have expected that it comes out so good. So the method of installing the backlighting here behind this works too. So what can I do without investing too much time and make a new soldering here to make it look a little bit cleaner? I have connected these plugs roughly here. When the overhead is finished, I can take some time and find cleaner ways to connect them. For example, collecting all the backlighting plugs together and place them somewhere here, maybe with a tie around them here, and then route these other cables a little bit with a little bit more thinking behind this, so then it can look a little bit more cleaner. But at the end, I have connected all these components of the overhead and now I can go on and make my way through the rest of the overhead. So a very short video about some tasks that have to be done on your way to a complete overhead panel. Quickly showed, but very time consuming. I think I have figured out here some things that I can modify in the future and especially you can take profit from these things when you plan your own overhead from scratch. And if you want to build your own overhead panel too, then you can find many informations in my other videos or you can find downloadable files in the memo section of my website. I have to go on to the last sections of the overhead panel and if you don't want to miss these episodes then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.